Right, welcome to this quick walk around video of the 2020 Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza. I'm not allowed to give you any opinions just yet, so I'm going to limit myself to walking you through the changes on the car. Right, up front, you've got new headlamps, so you've got LED projectors with a new DRL signature. You've also got this new chrome grille. A little under that, you'll notice the reprofile bumpers and a new skip plate. So the car has a slightly updated face. Now you move over to the side, you'll see new 16 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. Let me take you a little closer to them. You'll see a neat little texture as well on the wheels. Now we come back and you will notice that this Brezza has a new paint scheme as well. I'm not sure the exact name on this paint scheme, but I will find out and get back to you. At the back, again, you've got a new signature on the tail lamps. So that's about it for the changes on the outside. There's a couple of changes on the inside, but the main change is actually under the hood. So this car gets a 1.5 litre petrol engine instead of the diesel that used to be on the Brezza. You see the 1.3 diesel uh, that was FCA source, it's not going to be BS6 compliant. So Maruti Suzuki have plonked the 1.5 petrol from the Sierra's under the hood. Now in terms of numbers, this makes 103 horsepower and 138 nm of torque. If you want to compare that to what the 1.3 made, that made 89 horsepower and 200 nm of torque. So this is up on power, but down on torque. I must also mention that the, it makes peak power at around 4,400 RPM and peak torque at around 6,000 RPM. So that's a little higher up in the rev range than what the diesel did. In terms of gearboxes, you get a five-speed manual and you also get a four-speed torque converter automatic. You also get the SHVS mild hybrid system that's on the CS, but you only get it in the automatic variant, not on the manual. So those are the basics. Let me check out the insides as well. There's a couple of small changes here. So on the inside, the first thing you probably notice is the automatic gearbox, because this is the automatic that we're driving. That's the same thing that you see in the CS. You can also see the Smart Play Studio system. That's been updated. We've seen it on a few Maruti Suzuki cars before, but it's the first time we're seeing it on the Brezza. Apart from that, not too much else has changed. If you look at the steering wheel, the instrument cluster is pretty much the same. I must point out that on the instrument cluster, there's some new details here. So if you look, there's the there's an engine sign there, there's the wheel, and then there's the battery. So that's information regarding what the smart hybrid system is doing. There are different arrows that light up differently according to whether the battery is charging or it's sending power to the wheels or whatever. It's not, yeah, I also have no opinions, so I can't say anything about it just yet, but it's not the same as what you get in the CS. That has color graphics. Otherwise, that's it. There's not much else that's new on the uh, Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza. Prices have been announced. So you get the manual base variant starting at 7.34 lakhs like showroom. The base automatic starts at 9.75 lakhs and the top of the line car that you're looking at is 11.4 lakhs like showroom. Stay tuned for our full review. It's gonna drop on Saturday morning. That's the 29th at 9 a.m. We're gonna be putting up a video as well as a story on the website. Catch us there.